you know, this, this project came in at 5,400 a square. Let's talk about how you won this bid. Uh, what was the process? What made you go in at that price? Medico SVG Storm Ventures Group. I'm here live on the ground. Where are we at, guys? San Francisco. San Francisco. San Francisco, beautiful San Francisco, with Mikkel with MJV Trades out of Montana, prime contractor on a job today. Doug Reitmeyer with GC Experts out of Austin, Texas. And we got Julio Guterres, the local, you know, local licensed roofer here in San Francisco. This is a federal government contracted job. Now you order, you guys source the materials through ABC. No, actually, in this particular case, because it, it was uh, an Oregon, it was a, a specified type of cedar, then uh, Julio and I got together with Bobby Welsh up in Oregon, who supplied these, coated them and everything, got them approved, sent samples down here in the National Park Service, so that Julio didn't have to worry about that. So we did a lot of setup for him, so he could do what he's good at, and we did what we're good at. So we set it all up for him so he could bring his team in here and do what they do really good, as you can see in the background. We are at stage one, which is uh, the scaffold has to be in place for safety. So it was taken about a day and a half. So Ruthie, you're with, what's the name of your scaffolding company? Celtic Scaffolding. Out of San Francisco. Out of San Francisco. And you set up the scaffold here today. Beautiful job. Thank you. So you covered we all the bases. the best. <laughs> um, is this typical of a roofing job in uh, yes. California? Yes. We do it this way because of the, the, the stability. So I asked Doug, do you want it four wide, five wide, six wide? And he says, go four, five, or six. So we gave him the best. We went okay. six wide yeah. on this. <laughs> and you're setting that up for uh, before tear off as well, so that's helping catch a lot of the debris. Is that correct? Yes, right. that's okay. right. So that's yes. helpful. So that's it helps preserving the exterior of the building. Exactly, yes. and, and that's that's one of the key components here of preserving anything that goes around the building, not to damage right. the historical building. That's one of the challenges that we've been having, not to damage the building itself, right. but improving it instead. I'm grateful and thankful to have this opportunity to work at the National Park here in San Francisco, beautiful San Francisco, with the actually Golden Gate view that we have. I'm excited to get this done and uh, to have a nice end result that we can say it's, we did it. It's stage one also involves removing the layers of roofing. So it's gonna take approximately a day and a half as well. It's extremely dangerous. You need to be uh, experienced to do this type of work. You need to be safe. You need to be completely safe. Uh, harnesses, uh, you know, hard hats, as you can see ourselves. Uh, be able to know how to step on the roof itself. Not be afraid, it's very important <laughs> as well. It's a very dangerous job and very hazardous. The unique thing about this building is that not just it's actually a steep, it's a 12 and 12, which is the steepest roof you can have and also that cupola you can see behind my stage it's quite a bit unique um, area to work with shingles around you need to be skillful to do that i have a dream crew and uh, they're wonderful guys hardworking, very skillful i'm very lucky as an employee to have such an awesome crew from here we move into stage two which is, is installing plywood and the layers of underlayment My crew has taken the uh, breaks that we do as required. We three breaks during the day, one at 10 o'clock, one at noon for lunch, and one at two o'clock for breaking so they can refurnish their energy and start going again. We're getting a celluloid underlayment MTS. It's a high tap, high quality as well, and uh, it sells seal it into the wood decking. The beautiful thing about that product is, is every time you drill a nail, it sells seal it.
guys, let's talk about how, you know, this, this project came in at 5,400 a square. Let's talk about how you won this bid. Uh, what was the process? What made you go in at that price? Well, first of all, Miguel, he recognized it was his type of work, right? He's an expert at roofing. He went in at $5,400 because of the, we got a 12 on 12 pitch. You got a National Historic Building, you got custom. You got to yeah. custom dip these in a special paint. Number one, great. There's right. no knots in this stuff, right? There's a lot of stuff that gets built into doing a project like this that does drive the cost up. But once the, the money's paid out, and you get the product, then it lasts a long, long time. The next stage uh, is coming to install gutters all the way around, the gutter system all the way around. And then we start installing the actual wood shingles. This is an exciting moment. We're going to start shingling the top cupola, which is one of the most challenging part of this project. That is exciting right now to get that done. What are the limits to how much a roofing contract can get per square? Our federal government issues 50 contracts like this per business day. How many can you get? Find out at GCExperts.com. Click on Get Tickets right now and start your journey as a national federal contractor.